What's going on guys? Coach Matt at YouGoProBaseball.com and I'm actually here in Berlin, Germany with uh, Coach Michael and we're here at the Berlin Bradenburg Baseball Academy camp and this is the last day, day. sad day, sad I'm going to miss you. Yeah. But uh, you <laughs> uh, Michael is a great hitter. Um, in fact, he was a four year league leader in home runs and RBI, triple crown winner. So he's got a lot of great information when it comes to hitting and I kind of want to pick your brain today about power and creating yeah, yeah. power. What is your philosophy when you get in here? How come, why are you a league leading home run hitter? So, to be honest, hitting for power is coming from the practice. I love to practice. Um, a lot of people feel like uh, tired, boring, but without practice, it's no way you can improve in the game. So, of course, gym, you have to work in the gym, work in, the, in, in, your, in your food. Um, so back to my power, what I like to do is like uh, have a good approach, good approach. So everything is coming from the approach. Have a full of energy, create energy and balance. It's all about balance and trusting your hands. As long as you, you put in your brain like uh, you can have a good contact, solid contact, everything will come. And uh, yeah. what are some of the things you do in the gym to work on your power? Like what are your most, your favorite things to, to to translate from the gym into your swing to create power. So in, in, when I'm going to the gym, I like to work a lot with my legs and with my abdomen, with my belt, you know, with my fat belly. So that's because I understand for me, all my power is coming from my feet and my hips and my stomach. So I'm always trusting my hands. Have it, you know, quick hands, quick hands, and have a good approach and trust, trust in yourself, you know. It's, um, is your mindset when the, when the pitcher is throwing, is your mindset that you're gonna hit a home run every single time? Are you swinging with maximum intent or, or are you just capitalizing on the mistakes he throws? Or what, how, like, how do you go about it? About it? Great question. Um, I never think about home run because as long as I'm healthy, I know I can, I can have a good day. So it's all about be consistent and be prepared. As long as you are prepared, what wrong with pump, you know? I'm thinking always to get on base, driving the ball and move the run. And the reason home run is coming double, yeah, I love double. Yeah, when double is coming, home run is coming. But she said, I'm so happy when I'm on base, I'm half like a double, single. But as I'm saying, when you have a good approach, everything is coming like a single double home runs. But I never think about home runs. Let me ask you this last question. You seem like a very positive guy, been positive all week. I think it takes a very positive mindset in a game of failure where the best players are failing seven out of 10 times. Uh, what is your process for, let's say you have a bad game, you go, you know, you get the golden sombrero, three strikeouts, yeah. and what is your mindset? Like, how do you, you know, get out of that or get to the next game and, and stay successful over time? What's your, what's your mindset? Another great question. You know, I'm always telling to my mates, to my teammates, uh, hey, when you are awful three, awful four, it doesn't matter. You're going to have one at bat and we can win the game. It's all about one at bat and have a good approach and good solid contact. But you never, when you have like a two strikeout, three strikeout, you just keep doing it. Just like a keep, you know, keep happy in the game. Try to have fun with your teammates in the dugout because you're gonna have to chance. But if you're going down mentally, it's no way we can help. You, you know. And me, I'm this kind of person. I don't care. I don't mind to have like an awful, uh, awful four. Even if I have like an awful five, I know I think about next day. You know, it's better the next pitch is coming, be ready because I'm going for him. Yes. You know. But I'm always confident. Yeah. Like, uh, I love this game because it's so tough mentality. Because mentally, because baby, like a 90% mentality, 5% talent, you know. So it's, it's not easy. It's not easy. Woo! Timmy, how'd you feel right there? So okay. One thing uh, Michael and I were talking about that we saw was you were doing really well with the with the inside pitch. You had some good swings to the to the pull side and you some good contact. But what I noticed was when you were starting, you were starting good. But as you started your swing, your chest 
started to come up. You were you were very connected and short with your swing, which is a great thing. But as you pull your chest up, the bat's gonna follow, right? So if you if you're getting an outside pitch and you start here and your chest starts to come up, you're shortening your bat. So it makes it a lot harder to hit the outside pitch in the outside part of the plate. I think every single ball that you hit was to your to the pull side, this side, right? Yeah. Again, you had some good swings, but if you can work on keeping that chest over, you're gonna stay more athletic, more balanced, and then you're gonna be able to drive more balls up the middle and opposite field. Michael and I were talking before about his approach when he's hitting in the in the batting cages, and he was talking about, uh, tell him what you were saying. Yeah. About, so me, when I walk in the batting cage, or in the, even the BP, I, will, I love to go to the right field in my first round. It's just be nice and smooth, then you need to be athletic. You have to be athletic. Lefty up, guys. Let's slide back a little bit. You have to be athletic. What I mean with athletic, you have to be like 70%, 30%. And bend the knee a bit, create some power and some energy. So when you're swimming, the balance will come, you know? Because sometimes you, you open so early. And then when you open so early, you can reach out some pitch. So you have to control the front shoulder, nice and close, and then Outside pitch, you go here. So look how long. Everything outside. The home plate is here and my bat is there. So I will be available to put the ball on the bottle right there. So no, you have to, we're gonna work on this. Yeah. So when when he's telling you to focus on the outside part, you know, and being able to hit that pitch, that's very important, especially as you get older, because pitchers are gonna recognize yeah, that exactly. right? and they're gonna start to pitch to your weaknesses and try to get you out, right? So if you're a guy that can only hit the inside pitch. They're gonna go, okay, all right, we know when, when Big Tim comes up, we're gonna live away, away, away. And then you're gonna start getting the breaking balls, away, away, away. So if you wanna be a complete hitter, you gotta be able to control, you know, attack every part of the zone and be able to hit every part of the zone. Tell them what you were talking about with the, with the T, how you work the T yeah, around even, the zone. Even, even with the T, I like to start like a high T, very high, just to get on the top of the ball. So that's gonna help you to get loose and then bring some energy for the next round. You know, and then you just bring it down, and then I, I start me, I start like a high, and they are going low outside just to get easy and smooth, driving the ball to the right field. And then I feel it inside, inside like a, you kind of shit to bring the game easy for you. So, what I mean inside, you work with the front elbow and be available to put the bar on the ball. And still, you have to bring put in your brain middle, middle, right, right. I know it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough because you will be, you're gonna pull it. But it doesn't matter. What you're looking for is to put your brain, to connect your brain with the body, middle, right. And that's gonna, it's gonna be very important. Not for you, you are a puller, you know? Especially for the puller here. Yeah? And that's, that's you know, the whole part of the zone. That's why he's as successful as he is because he's working that whole part of the zone. But the, the main thing is that you're doing this over time. You can't do, we can't do it three days here and then forget about, forget it. about it. You gotta work on it, work on it, work on it, work on it as much as you can. The great thing with the T is you can do it pretty much anywhere, right? But great job, keep it up, all right? Good job. So those are some great tips. Thank, thank you so much. Take it from uh, Michael here. You can learn something really special. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. Um, and uh, we'd love to see you in the next video. Thanks guys. Thank you. That was awesome. That was cool.